Good afternoon folks, this is Darth Ravage 07 coming to you today with another quick review from the back porch. Uh, got in today from the CMD store, the Sunstreaker Concept from the Studio Series. He's number 111 in the series. So before we get into that, make sure to like, share, subscribe, all the stuff down below. Thank you again for watching. I'm ready to take these snips, get him open and out on the turntable. And there is Concept Art Sunstreaker from the Bumblebee movie on the turntable, that beautiful concept art art there on the front you can see him inside of the box there he does sport the clear plastic in the chest we're going to see if that has a paint blemish and if they should have just waited around and did the whole painting thing we got him there on the side we've got on the back uh his little thing reads unreleased movie concept of sunstreaker and transformers bumblebee fighting the decepticons on cybertron sporting a nice looking cybertronian-esque lamborghini mode and dual wielding his blasters Looks really, really awesome, and that looks good as always. Right here on the bottom, let's uh, do a little, actually not on the bottom, it's actually right there on the back. Pause and scan right there, if you're looking inside of the stores. I hope this helps you find it, as is, distribution so wonky. That's why it's either a pre-order, or uh, just checking CMD store randomly, because it seems distribution, they get into stuff like clockwork, like it should be everywhere, but that's not the case. Let's get him cracked open and see how cool he really is. And of course we got his instructions inside and a pamphlet. So um, get it out of the box and get him set up with weapon mode and where he can store it. You got his steps and like on the box, you get there in about 19 steps. And you got weapon mode configurations for the vehicle mode. You have him trapped in his prison. His blasters are right here on the sides. You remove him from the cardboard backdrop and you got that one little bit of stuff there. I don't know that anybody actually ever does this, but for what I'm doing it in the video, I see a lot of people doing that and then they just go like that even. Uh, please recycle and let's free him. And here is Sunstreaker in his robot mode, freed from his cardboard packaging with his weapons on his back and you know, initial spins and not looking at it closely. This looks pretty heroic, looks really, really awesome. Let's go ahead and go through his articulation real quick. And he's got side to side here at the head, or actually you can do a full 360 at the head and get it to go all the way around. Very, very awesome detail in there on the face that this is the most prettiest part of him. As you will see when we go to do the articulation on the arm, there's where it gets ugly, but it, like I have not transformed it yet. Don't know the form and the function, but there's really no excuse in modern day transform figures not having all the articulation for the prices we're paying. And uh, I really think that this should have been that solid since I've had the new Sunstreaker in hand, that it should have the solid uh, plastic here versus the clear. But I get what this is going for because the other concept series stuff has the clear. So then uh, you do get all the way around the waist, which is really, really awesome. A gratuitous amount of paint, and at least it's as close as you can be color matched. Still, like between looking at the camera and my naked eye, it, it does some sort of illusion thing, or it could be the, the orange trim and the paint there that's throwing my eye off too. Nice little bit of silver detail there. Great detail there in the abdomen. Love the detail on the forearms. I just wish that these wrists would be able to swivel, but due to engineering and transformation and probably a, a perfect piece of a shell former just outside looking in I can't decide if I like the shoulders like this to do that and or like to have them up like this to each his own but then you get a little bit of hollowness there but it's actually extra shielding and you can get a little bit more dynamic you can't get the full T but it looks like you're getting into the transformation joint there so I guess you got another shield or not even the full T there going back and lowering these back down for the sake of this you can kick up this high this extra bit of stuff going up the leg kind of gets in the way there and it does kind of in the back there but you can get all the way back that far you do have an upper thigh swivel with the waffles on the inside of the leg there you do get that much of the knee you got a tab point and a tab point that's not going to let it do that on either leg and well might as well just go ahead and rock this thing a little bit here go back up to the shoulder configuration do like this and you do get the full van damage there. There's a little bit of a hang up there, there with that. And the knee, and there's no, well, there is some up and down there, but it's due to the transformation joint probably once again. And you get ankle tiltage 
a couple different ways there. So utilize that as you need to see fit. You got peg holes in the bottom there for upgrading them or doing the other attachments if you see so desire. He does look heroic just as is like that there. So let's get him all armed up with his weapons from his weapon storage there. And their Sunstreak are all posed out and you can see again how the waffling looks on the underside. I'm just not a big fan of that guys. And I do see the engineering there and it's gonna probably fall, fall out like I said, a shell former. But I just don't think that there's any excuse for this with this day and age. This is not the 80s, 84. And then this just, can't, well, it's the hollow bits in the back there. I don't like the hollow bits. I mean, and I'm not into weighing my transformers, but you can get that from other guys out there that do that just to a greater deal than I do in my reviews. But there's your whole 360 spin of the robot mode before we go into that car mode. And I just adore that head sculpt. I think it just fits into a T. Let's see if that transformation is any fun. Get into car mode, then we'll get into some final thoughts. And there is Concept Sunstreaker from the Bumblebee movie in his Cybertronian Lamborghini mode. And I, I get these vibes having it in hand that you just don't get unless you look at it at a certain angle. This feels more like a uh, Cybertron Wheeljack than even a Wheeljack. It just it's got the hover thing going on. And if you didn't have these little nice clear spinning plastic wheels here, I mean, it, it would be that. I mean, very Tron, or even, yeah, it feels very Tron-esque as well. This back end feels like that wheel jack, even though it's not. And imagine Toy Hacks could, you know, give us some labels and make it really pop and come to life there. You do get a couple of ports on the side that you can do the weapons back into. I don't mind the clearness there. And they did do a pretty good job paint matching. But, well, then I go over here and flip it on the top and I see the the naked eye shows a little difference there in it so maybe they will do a run in revision and and do it with the solid plastic and then have these painted black or something i don't know or even it could be a solid yellow piece because it's cybertronian and you get by with that and give it some neon blue like it did there in the headlights that front end looks good and that front profile looks really awesome very very cool uh this this can't be gotten around because you, you can see it's how it, it is a shell former but there really is with that said there is no sense in this thing having the awful waffles like it does right here i just just frustrates me but uh you can see his head peeking back through so you got some visible head back through a back door i guess that's where the other stuff locks up up on the back there with the weapons and stuff but speaking of weapons let's get him armored up and see how cool that looks first on the sides and there he is with the side guns going on there I'm looking at the box art I'm thinking I'm gonna like that a little bit better there you get it down in here and you get down on it you have this thing's just blazing but it looks cool like that too and they could be thrusters coming out the back use your imagination play is good guys so let's get those mounted to the top like you see on the box art and oh yes, that I think is, I guess, why I will probably keep this thing instead of sending it on its way up to Ultra Megatronus. He's like, if you don't like that, you can send it on up to me. But uh, I think I do like the way that looks. That It just looks very, very awesome. Very Cybertronian Sunstreaker. You got that little build-up piece in the back. He's not just a sports car now. He's got that extra little bit of buff, but it's got punch now. I love the way that looks. That profile looks awesome. The feelings have changed a little bit about this now that I've got it like this and I know how the weapons do in the robot mode and now you see this here and it'll it will roll. I thought it would just slide but it actually rolls a little bit there so that's pretty pretty cool too. Let's get this guy back into robot mode and some final thoughts guys. Thanks for watching. Some final thoughts on this guy. The conversion from both robot to car mode and car mode and back is easy simple. It has fun factor. Uh, the car mode is absolutely slick and awesome. The perfect shell former. That said, today's engineering of the Studio Series with the waffles and lack of wrist articulation and most of their deluxe class really, really kind of burns me up. Plus, I mean, when you take a look at the side there, you get that kind of thing going on. This shouldn't be on anything that's you know $27 or even $24.99 and all that stuff in the markup at CMD. 
it's there, but I mean, I like being able to get the stuff and not have to wait for it for months on end or never finding it in the store. That's that's the frustration with collecting these days, these guys. But I love this as a concept uh, studio series Sunstreaker with my quabbles about the wrist and the forearms there. Everything else is pretty nice on it. Cleans up great in robot mode. It's just those ugly forearms. That's the only negative I've got going on with this. And it does got a little bit of, it's, it's got that G1 kibble goodness that I just keep going back to. And then if you don't like that right there, you can actually just take and pop these guys up right here. And that doesn't look bad either. I think that looks pretty good. And you can see those little guns popping up in the background. The back looks good with the guns mounted in. The legs look pretty solid for, you know, it falling up on itself like a shell former. And that's about going to do it for concept. Bumblebee's concept art Sunstreaker. Very, very nice concept. Poorly executed forearms, but then fun in both modes uh, can be had here. Thanks again for watching my channel. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, all the stuff down below. Thank you again for watching. Is this for everybody? I don't think so, but if you like Sunstreaker, you might want to give it a try because that's why I did and that's why I pulled the trigger and got it. You guys have an excellent week out there until all are one, guys.